Hey guys, Ben from RMB Reptiles. Just checking out the Baltimore Repticon. It's a good time and uh, hanging out at Sea Serpents where we're giving away one of these racks. Uh, or I guess we probably already did by the time this video hits. And we will show you around the show. Alright guys, so we're checking out the show and saw this Peruvian giant yellow legged centipede. Super, super cool. You don't get to see Peruvians that often. Um, awesome animal. Terrifying sometimes for some people, but really cool. We're over here at Reptile Passions. So we're checking out their booth. They have some really cool stuff. And look, they even donated to Chase's auction. So pretty cool. Good support of the hobby. Really cool animals. Alright guys, this is Bill from Maryland Ball Pythons and Exotics. He has a pretty cool looking snake as I was walking by, I was like, hey, that doesn't look like what it should. He has it labeled as a spot nose disco, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. It is in shed right now, but it's still, I've seen some other pictures of this. It's unbelievable. It's a pretty cool looking animal. As far as I know, what I know is in this snake is spot nose disco, yellow belly, and orange ghost. But at about six months old, it started losing. Yeah. The phenomelanin is what it lost. Each shed, it progressively got grayer and grayer and grayer and lost more color and more color and more color. It didn't start till about six months old. I, I've talked to a few people about it. The best I can say is that it's some sort of increased melanin gene. It's similar to the boa constrictor, the IMG. Yeah. Um, I have six more eggs in the incubator from the same clutch as last year, so they'll be ready in about a month or so. Um, check us out on Facebook or Instagram and follow us, Maryland Ball Pythons and Exotics. And, uh, keep updating photos and updating her story yeah so definitely check these guys out it's a really cool animal even though it's in shed some of the pictures that we saw it's just unbelievable because it looks really exanthic but it's not like it's just really really cool so check them out
All right, so sitting here with my friend Chris from Sea Serpents. We just gave away one of his racks. They're really awesome. We use a lot of them at our, at our place. So he's going to talk about a couple of things about his racks or what he's passionate about. So hey, everyone. I uh, want to give a couple things, a couple shout outs, man. These guys, uh, Ryan and Ben are doing a great job with their animals, man. They're doing a great job promoting. Uh, one thing you guys should realize, though, is about U.S. Arc. Um, U.S. Arc is a big part of our community. We need as much help as we can get to make sure that we can still all do this, whether it's a hobby or it's your living. Um, so, you know, research, see where you can find and donate, whether it's $5, $50, $100. We all got to give a little bit because, um, you know, if you're doing if you're doing stuff strictly for the money, you're not going to be here. Um, so if you help out U.S. Arc a little bit, then we can all enjoy this hobby and or business for many, many years to come. So um, just, uh, you know, do what you can, do the best you can for everything. You know, we're all sticking, we're all here together. We're all here to work together. You know, all the vendors here working together, you know, any RBC, um, come on the Super Show, man, a lot of good people out there, a lot of good people in this community. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's help each other out. Let's help U.S. Arc. Let's raise some money and uh, have some fun. How's that? That's an excellent idea and definitely good people. So now you guys get to see kind of, not just because of his racks are really good, but we actually really love this guy. So that's one of the reasons we do business with him and we work with him. We're happy that he works with us too.